Hello, and welcome back to the Alana Exeliza cooking show. Today we are making cocktails from around the world. So although it's a bit different than our usual food tasting, we're gonna do some drink tasting. And if you like traveling and you like beverages, this is the place for you. Before we get started with our first drink, we just want to remind you that you can subscribe down below. It's free and it's fun and we have new videos every week. We promise you'll like it. And now to drink number one. Drink number one is very near and dear to our hearts. It is a Canadian cocktail, a Caesar. This is the Canadian version of a Bloody Mary. It's a little bit different in that instead of tomato juice, it's Clamato juice. And although Clamato juice sounds frightening, it is honestly one of the best things. And if you're wondering what Clamato juice is, it is a mixture of tomato juice and clam juice. Take our word for it, it's amazing. As this is a Canadian drink and we are Canadians, we don't even need a recipe for this because I'm pretty sure no one's ever made a Caesar with a recipe. So we're gonna kind of freestyle it. For example, if you don't love spice, adjust from what we're doing. The best thing about a Caesar is you can put whatever little additions or as some say, accoutrements at the end. So we have spicy beans over here, but some people put bacon, other people do shrimp cocktail. I've even seen a mini cheeseburger on them. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Anything goes. Okay, so step one, open the jug. Step one, pass jug to Eliza. <laughs> step zero is put ice into your glass. Just so you have an idea of how much to use in your drink, we're going to pour out the Clamato juice into shots, but generally you don't need to do that. So we're going to pour until we think it looks right. So you'll get the recipe at the end. So that's one shot, not enough. Two shots, I think that's a good amount. So do I. Step two, add your vodka. And again, we're gonna let you choose however much you wanna use, but today we're just going to put one shot in each of ours. And if you don't like alcohol, skip this step. You can have a Virgin Caesar and it is just as good Maybe in my opinion, better. Step two is complete. Step three are the additions. We like to add horseradish and Tabasco because as you know, we like it extra spicy. So Lisa's is going to do a little tap bang of Tabasco and I will do a scoop of horseradish. Some people like to add salt and pepper. Step three and a half, mix. Step four, a dash of Worcester sauce. Nobody knows what Worcestershire sauce does, but everyone knows that this recipe calls for it. If you don't have it in there, you know it's missing, but you don't know what it is missing. <laughs> Step four and a half. <laughs> Step four and a half, shake. Our fifth and final step, the hot beans. You can garnish with whatever you choose, but we love hot beans. Step five and a half, pass to Eliza. Step six, tasting, cheers. Very spicy. That is what I call a good Caesar. Drink number two comes all the way from Cuba and it is a mojito. No, hard pass. A mojito is honestly the perfect drink on a hot day. It is so refreshing and be careful because you might not notice how much you're enjoying it. Mojitos are so refreshing because they're made up of mint, lime, and in our case, cucumber. Our first step in this recipe is pouring out one ounce shots of white rum. So there are two of us, so that means two ounces of white rum. Our next step is adding lime juice. So we're adding two ounces of lime juice, so it's equal parts lime juice to white rum. Our next step is to add some simple syrup. You can skip this step if you don't like sweet or adjust it according to your preferences, but we are going to add about an ounce and a half of simple syrup. Our next step is the fun step, which is muddling the mint and cucumber. So you can take as much as you want, but we're going to take about a finger full of mint per person. Drop that in and about, how much would you say? Two cucumber wedges? Sure. And since Eliza is much neater than I, she will be in charge of muddling because if I am, there will be no beverage. Our next step is adding some soda water. This is just a little top off. So whatever you think looks good for your glass, you just pour a little in. But again, we'll say about two ounces of soda water. And now we shake. And now we pour. The most important part of any beverage is making sure you drink it out of a fun glass. And the final step to this fabulous cocktail is the garnish. So we have some lime discs. And now for our favorite part, the tasting part. Yum, cheers. 
very tart and very refreshing. Mm, I feel like I'm on a beach. Cocktail number three, kamikaze cocktail. This is brought to you all the way from Japan. Although it's a pretty simple cocktail, it is a fabulous one. Don't think anything less of her just because she's got less ingredients. Step one to making this cocktail is getting a really cool shaker. Definitely mission accomplished. Step number two is adding your triple sec. So there is an even number of triple sec vodka and lime juice in the cocktail. So it's one ounce of each, which makes measuring super straightforward and basically foolproof. Step number three, but ingredient number two, vodka. And again, equal parts. So this will be a one ounce shot of vodka. Literally could not be easier. And our last ingredient, which has already been poured, lime juice. Next, we shake, but we wiggle. After the last incident, I'm going to be very careful. And now we pour. These are such pretty drinks, but I think they're missing something. Limes. Can't wait. Oof, that's a goodie. Our next drink comes all the way from Bermuda and is a dark and stormy. I don't think anyone has been on vacation somewhere warm and not had a dark and stormy or at least seen one on the menu. It is once again, a foolproof cocktail and it will never ever disappoint. Step number one, cute glasses. Check. Step number two, rum. We're going to take two ounces of dark rum, not white rum like we used in the mojito, and pour those into our glasses. Dark rum is much sweeter than white rum and has a really nice spicy sweet aroma. Yum. Our next ingredient is ginger beer. Not to be mistaken with its cousin ginger ale, ginger beer is a lot less sweet and a lot more zingy. <laughs> we are going to add one and a half times what we added of rum. So this will be an ounce and a half each of ginger beer. And now our penultimate ingredient, which is lime juice. And we are going to add half an ounce each. So Lisa has trusted me to eyeball half of this shot glass. So we'll see how that goes. And now our final ingredient, ice. A strong recommendation would be to wash your fingers before touching the ice, especially touching someone else's ice so they know that you have clean hands. You're welcome, Elena. And now you shake. Now for the most important part, the tasting part. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Our fifth and final cocktail is brought to you from Italy. It is called a Bellini. And if you have not had one, I highly recommend you have one after this video. We're not ones to necessarily pick favorites, but if we were to pick favorites, this would definitely be it. Our favorite type of Bellini is a peach Bellini, but you can really have any sort of fresh fruit juice in it, which leads us to ingredient number one, fresh fruit juice. So you can do this with peach, you can do it with pear, you can say berries work very, very nicely, but peach is always our favorite. I must admit that I've never measured out a Bellini before, but for the sake of continuity and making this easier for you to recreate the drinks at home, we will be measuring out our juice. But if you're making this for yourself, whatever feels right is what you should put in your drink. Whatever you decide, make sure you leave space for the next ingredient because you'll want space for that. Definitely. For our second ingredient, it is champagne. You can also use Prosecco if that's what you have or sparkling wine. This is our choice, this is our preference, but whatever you pick works as long as it has bubbles. Time to go. Cheers. That's what I'm talking about. We hope that you have enjoyed our drink trip around the world and we've inspired you to make whatever version of these drinks that you feel like having. We loved every second of our world tasting tour and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more of us. Are you following us on Instagram at AlanaXAliza? And if you're not, you should. We upload new videos every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell.